Hey guys, and welcome back to Phase Caveopolis. As you can see, I've been a little busy organizing stuff. This is just the start of it. We reorganized our two setups that we had last video, combined them all together, and now all of the energy production that we did have is all working in unison to help fuel each other. But we can also have a look over here because we have set ourselves up to pipe everything we get into here so all of our resources from our stations are now getting pumped in and we're getting fragments of gold and if we pull them out we can actually we need to just pull them out into our inventory so that we can get the quest complete We can have a look down here in the nether ores, and we've got gold fragments. That's not what I meant to do. Which will give us raw gold. Now we need to find debris fragments next. And quartz fragments. And what's the last one? Glowstone fragments. That completes those. Now, that's unfortunate. Oh, it takes twice as many for that. Also unfortunate. <clears throat> so, we can just pull this out. No, maybe this one is just the same as usual. Yep. And more quartz. Next up. We need to start smelting. I've been working on more charcoal because we are chewing through the stuff. Considering we now have two different areas that are both using it. And we are, on the plus side, also getting a buttload of creosote oil. Which, this is the first time I've ever gotten it this way. Usually we just pull it out of a coke mill. So, we now have a creosote oil bucket, which is useful in this steel section, because we need to use creosote. Actually, we need to make another alloy mixer, specifically for this. So, conveniently, I believe, we still have it over here about how to make it. We'll get four barrels made. And while that's being pulled through, we're going to head through here. Sorry, we need to head downstairs for one thing, then we're going to head in there. Because we have finally gotten everything we need together. Hmm, where the hell is a pick? Alright, we'll do this first. <clears throat> we finally got everything we need together. To make ourselves, there we go, a, crap, this is going on in my head, to make ourselves mushrooms. I don't know how I couldn't remember the word mushroom for a second then, but it's just one of those days apparently. <coughs> the only thing we need to get now is moss. Also, because of a lack of security down here, all of my animals may have escaped. Which is unfortunate, but hey, them's the brakes, I suppose. Right, we'll take out the dirt, put that to there, I believe. Maybe it is the other way around. There we go. That'll give us our brown mushroom. Do I need more than one for it? No, why aren't you giving me my reward then? There we go. Right, cool. So this section is now almost completed. We are so very close. So we have almost had everything we needed in there. 
need this and we're going to need some shears. <coughs> so what we can do just to try and push through these quests is we're going to chuck that down we're going to bone meal it apparently we're going to need a little bit more distance than that actually no that'll work cool uh, and last but not least kelp which we need a bit more seagrass than this And one last time. That is enough. Right. We need a new bucket to be able to fill this in. We're going to need buckets in general, actually. The rest of these can go back. Uh, while we're doing this, turn to those back in. Wait a couple of seconds. When we come back, that'll be all good to go. And kelp lets us finish off. That doesn't finish off that chapter? What are we missing from this chapter? We still haven't got cactus which means we need flint and some green wool one more thing All right so we'll just start transferring everything back in make ourselves another alley mixer which we're just going to chuck down here because it doesn't actually need any energy Um, 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 so, to make the crude oil bucket, we need to put water and tree oil, <coughs> sorry, into here with some biofuel. Biofuel, we put moss block into an oil. So that means we're going to need to get, actually we'll just pick up a moss block off the floor. Fairly certain that wooden resin. Alright, so that's not what we need then. What do we do with wooden resin to make rosin? Can we burn to create RF in a sterling generator? Yes. Uh, we need to put this into a fractioning sill. And that'll make tree oil. Alright, cool. That should really be in a different order then. So we're just going to take all of this that we can out. Okay. And this should make us some tree oil. But I feel like we're probably going to need more than that. Yep. Okay. So. We have plenty of fuel in there now. This can just get chucked in. Because we have too much fuel liquid now uh in the meantime so this those two are going to sort themselves out we're going to need to get some more obsidian for these which is never an easy task uh they should be done those are done which means we can finish off that quest line as well and that is just one two three four Pretty sure that should still work. No, it has to be in a specific layout. Why is that not working? Oh, they changed the recipe for it. We need to put them into an induction smelter. Helpful. Uh, do we have... Yes, we do have an induction smelter. Give me it. So we chuck those in. That should give us what we need. Still takes the same ratio. Don't know why it was necessary. Okay, so the Soul Forge. We should have everything we need to make a Soul Forge now. 
I need this. Pretty sure we have it should have some soul sand lying around. Transfer it in. Find us the soul forge. No ceiling. Oh, I haven't transferred my ceiling. It's in. Right. Immediately, we've got them on us. Send that. Then we'll request one of these and we'll just put it in ourselves. That gives us a soul forge. Okay, so we need to do this path next. Which is so helpful. So what we can do, I don't honestly know what Soul Forge is useful. Never used one before in my life. It's going to get chucked in the corner. Now, our next thing we need done is bones. Means we're going to need a lot of bone meal. So we chuck a little sack to make a bone block. A bone is made by eroding a bone block. Skeleton skull is made by a bone block with four bones around it. And the wither skull, and we just need a skull. Okay, so good news, bad news situation. Bad news is my OBS decided, hey, fuck you. Uh, good news is we've sorted a couple of things out. So last that was on video, we made a, we were working on making a wither skeleton skull, which we got. You chuck a bone block in the eroder, it gives you a bone. Slap four bones around a bone block, and it gives you a skeleton skull, which we're working on making more now. So we only need three sets. Hmm. And then to turn a normal skull into a wither skull, we need blaze powder. But specifically, uh, we need wither powder. Wither powder can be obtained though by eroding some blaze powder. Also, last time, in our last video, we were having issues with our arboreal, whatever this thing is called. What are you even called? That map gets in the way. The arboreal extractor, which gets our resin out of the tree. The reason we were having an issue with it turned out to be that the tree wasn't on dirt. To get the arboreal extractor to work yes you need to put a grow a tree on a dirt block it can't be rooted dirt it can't be moss block it has to be dirt or artificially make one just get a piece of dirt slap some logs and then the top layer has to be leaved the rest of it not so much and that will also work we chuck the resin into here and that'll give us tree oil we're also gonna just shut that down real quick. Which we've got a bucket of here. And now we can chuck the tree oil. Because the resin wouldn't work. Into here. Uh, we also need to get a moss block. Which I don't know what happened to that moss block we had. But chuck it into a rotor. Which will give us some biofuel. And if we look. The last part of this is just water. So we'll grab a bucket of water while we're standing right next to it. And we'll chuck it in as well. Biofuel into the middle. And that should give us the bucket that we're after. Hopefully it'll give us enough. Knowing my luck, nowhere near. Alright. Oh no. It gave us enough for... So one moss block gives us enough for one bucket of crude oil. But I'm assuming... Crude oil is going to be one of those things that we can't just have a couple of pieces. Can't have in a wooden bucket, sorry. Also, I learned that the induction smelter is absolutely boss for smelting anything. Because all of that came out of one stack of iron. So that's where we're going to be smelting all of our resources from now on. I also shouldn't have put all of that iron back in. That's unfortunate. So we'll just make us another bucket because screw it, why not? And that still isn't going to work. 
Right, crude oil can be made from a mix of that. Crude oil can then be put through the fractioning sieve to make heavy oil and light oil and bitumen. So we're going to have to pump this into that. Plus side, we have two fluid pipes left. Hopefully this carries its liquids with it. So we'll just chuck you back down here. That's what we needed in front of. That's a very different appearance from what I had a second ago. Get out of the way, sheep. Right. So, if we set this up to be an intake. Yes. Uh, auto input enabled. It's now lost all of its stuff, though. Which is unfortunate, but we can fix that. So, we just need to get more moss. Give me the moss. Chuck the moss back in the arena. Grab a bucket of water. We'll grab this while we're here. And that will take care of all of this. Hopefully we'll also let it be pumped straight into here. Alright, so that's now active. This is now going to be set to push out the crude oil into here. And that crude oil should be getting used. 100 mil of crude oil. Ah, we need all of this to be empty though. That's unfortunate. All right, I guess we're doing this a third time then. One last time. Spin this around. I just realized my screw up too. All right, so. We need to put this in here. That's our screw up. Because we need tree oil to be able to make this work, and that was the loss of our tree oil. But we've now got resin coming out. Once all of this resin is processed through, we'll get tree oil. Then we can put the tree oil into here. Actually, not necessarily. We only needed more biomass. God damn it. Oh. It wasn't going to hurt to have more. But while we're waiting for all of this to happen, we'll come back over here, make ourselves our skulls, then take our skulls, make some wither dust around them. This gives us our four wither skulls for this. We need more hardened glass, which means we'll need another piece of sand, another piece of quartz, and we've still got obsidian in here, so we'll chuck obsidian in, we'll chuck quartz in, and we'll chuck sand in. That starts working on that. Cool. This is all about done. We just need to go get that biofuel, and we're done with it. Hurrah. So, biofuel goes into here. We take this out, we take that out. We put that into there. That gives us crude oil into here, which is now processing and will soon give us what we're after. And that is how we do. God damn, that took a lot. But that still isn't going to even give us this quest completed. Ugh. Alright, to do that, we need to make a new machine called a fluid encapsulator. Which can get chucked over here. Mm. Make a fluid encapsulator, that's going to be the only really difficult part. Alright, 
so we're going to need a gear. If I could spell that would be great. Request that. Going to need four pieces of tin. Three, four. Need to go back to our multi servo press. Grab both of those out. Chuck these back into here. Making light oil and heavy oil and bitumen. Which bitumen is then in turn going to get put back into here and process. But we don't have the stuff we need for it. Right. We're going to find a buttload of moss blocks. Because that way we're going to continue processing the way we are right now. But we're also going to be able to make more. We're going to slap the fluid encapsulator like here. Temporarily, of course. That gives us a tin gear. We're going to need to put more drawers in soon. Fluid encapsulator. That'll give us everything we need for this. No, we still need to make blaze rods. Um, do we, I don't think we have any copper gears either. So we're going to need copper then. We need eight pieces of it and that will finish off the copper, thankfully. Into here. We can grab this out of here, finishing off that part of the Soul Forge quest line. We need to make a flint and steel, and we need to get 13 soul soil, and then we're done with it. Which I'm sure we have soul soil around here somewhere. Oh, we have 12 soul soil. God damn it. Start transferring things back in. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, request all of this. That's far more than I was expecting. Alright, that'll do. I can go into there instead. Pump that back through so that we can get this ship properly sent out. I don't care, we will just resend this stuff. Why have I still only gotten one piece of... Out of all of that, we went to get eight blaze rods, we got three. There we go. Everything else can get pulled out and sent back in. Okay. We need one of these. Then I think we should be good to go. We might not have... Oh, we don't have a bucket in there. We need to send the... God damn it. Alright. All these one item spots need to be gotten rid of. Uh, so that's transferred in now. There we go. Where's my machine frame at? <sighs> this thing is not great. This whole system, not perfect. So, we've now got a fluid encapsulator. Which we're going to set up right here. Uh, we'll rotate it so that the back face is there. Or at the very least, so that that can come out. Turn that one off. And... 
we just need to go get our bio material and that will be finished. Uh, we'll also, because we're here already, grab another bucket of resin. No potatoes, buy fuel. So we'll just set this up like that. And now that's going to pump this out into here. We're going to grab a bucket. I'm going to grab three pieces of iron to make another bucket. Oh shit. That would have been a waste of iron if it actually went through with it straight away. Right, crude oil bucket is completed now then. Cool. Right, so that's done. Wood resin. Find fuel. It's also done, and now we need to make some sulfur. Make sulfur by getting light oil and putting it back through, and it will also give us refined fuel. Oh, <sighs> alright. That took a lot more than I was expecting. We'll disable those, and... So, you know, we'll just chuck that in there for storage more than anything else. Alright. Now, we just need to go and get some soul sand, and we should be good. So, we're going to need that still. Those still. Everything else can get unloaded as much as we can. Also, we need to eat, because... After that last run of running out of food... I never want to do that shit again. So, before our next video, I'm going to set up a... what me and my friends call a bubbleator system between both the lava level and... through both the lava level and the water level. So one side will have, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, words are escaping me right now. One way will have One will have a magma block, and the other will have a uh, soul sand, or a soul soil, whatever this one is. Because soul soil pushes you up, and magma blocks pull you down, as most people will know at this point. And that will help us get to and from the lower levels a lot quicker. At least until we can make ourselves a tempad, which that is rapidly approaching. We need a beacon, which means we need a nether star. We're not too far from being able to make a nether star. It'd be great if I could have just used the sea land to make one, but it's not quite a beacon. I'm still irked by the fact that these things sound like squeaky toys. That is 100% what they use for that noise. Just got a dog to attack a squeaky duck. Alright, tell me I grabbed the right one. Yep, now we just need to get a piece of flint and a piece of iron. Leave one of these behind, send the others back. We do not have any flint. How do I get flint?
get flint, we just need to put gravel into an induction smelter. To get gravel, we just erode some smooth stone. Alright, in that case, give me all the smooth stone we got. Because there's literally no point to it. I still think that they should have gone with the usual route of it. Which is just uh, chucking, yeah, continuing on this route. It should have just been you chuck cobblestone into an eroder, you get gravel, you chuck gravel. How long have I been muted for? Okay, so. Plus side, we shouldn't have been muted for too long. To make the Soul Forge multi block, we need a bottom layer of soul sand, soul soil, whatever this one is. The corners need to be soul soil. These outside, the side pieces all need to be soul sand, have the hardened glass. These skulls all need to be facing diagonal outward. And then, if we can grab some of our steel, which is actually just here. We can throw it into here, and if we've set this up right, there we go. Our steel turns into soul steel. Which completes that quest for us and gives us access to breaking through to the next level. Alright, so next we're just going to quickly finish off this last bit of this quest.
which is can't grab it. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Right, is that everything pumped through? Or we just need more water. So if we pump more water into this, it'll start processing again. And as soon as we have a full thousand heavy oil, we need to grab it out and then grab out the light oil with this. So what we might be able to do as well It's going to take forever as well. Right. So, we're going to take care of that last quest off stream because it's going to take forever. All we're going to be doing is putting the light, taking the light oil out and putting it back through the sip, through the fractioning still, which will also give us more refined fuel, which will help us fuel our compression dynamo. And. We're also going to be making enough obsidian to make these chests and tanks, which are absolutely smashing. We'll also get some more flint because we, we need to finish off that organic producing. But with that being said, we hope you've enjoyed all of this random crap all that we've taken care of today. It's taken a lot of screwing around. It's had a lot of bits missing because of buck ups but next video we are going to be aiming for the wither which i'm terrified i have never beaten the wither solo hopefully we'll be able to make some dope gear and smack the shit out of that wither but if you've enjoyed what you've seen today don't forget to hit that sub button smash the like and let us know down below out of all of the modded bosses in all of minecraft which one is your favorite and which one's the hottest personally my favorite has to be the naga we'll be back here next week same fate time same fate place and we hope to see you all there